So thank you so much for being here. This is our first ever Yoga for HD session. All right. So what I want you to do is get set up in a standing position. Okay. And for those of you that have some balance issues, have your chair close by to you. Okay. It could be beside you. So I can place mine to my side. Or you can be standing off of it. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give your body a head to toe warm up. Okay. All right. So if you're new to yoga, one of the things that separates yoga from other exercises is the amount of breath we use. We inhale and we exhale in our movements. So that might take a little bit of adjusting. Do your best today to move in your pain-free range of motion. Take breaks anytime you need it. And feel free to communicate with me through that chat box anytime you have a question or you have a concern. Or turn your uh, video on and wave me down and I'll come and mute you. Okay? So the first position we have is called a mountain pose or Tadasana. So I want you to keep your feet about hip distance apart. So if you can find the bony parts of your hips, I want you to place your hands there. Yeah, and then line up your heels underneath them. So oftentimes I'll say hip width and people do this really wide stance. You can start here. Now, if you feel a little bit unsteady, go wider. So you wanna create a base of support that you feel solid coming upright. And again, if mobility or, or balance is an issue, a chair is gonna be right beside you so you can grab it, okay? So make sure it's in your arm's reach. Now from here, I want you to imagine that you're pressing your feet into the earth, good, and then you're tearing apart the floor underneath you. So when you push down and you tear, you're gonna get an engagement with your glutes, an engagement with your lower abdomen, and then eventually we're gonna have an engagement with our lat muscles. So we're trying to tighten the body into this midline position. Okay, very good. And then relax your arms down. So the bottom half of your body is gonna stay active. So practice, take a breath in, rip apart the floor, feel your legs engage, and then relax them. Okay, we'll do that two times. Inhale, push your feet down, feel like you are tearing apart the floor, see if you can feel the body gripping, and then relax it. Perfect. One more time, and I want you to hold it there. So inhale, press down, tear apart the floor, Hold it as you exhale. Now inhale, take one of your arms, reach it as high as it'll go. Good, and then exhale that arm down. Switch your sides if you can. Inhale up. Exhale down. That's it. So all you're doing now is practicing your breath and your movement. Inhale up. Exhale back down. Wonderful. Again, inhale up. Exhale down. Perfect. Try that two more times. Lift on your breath in. Press all five fingers together. Try to stretch up to the ceiling. Yeah. And then exhale it down. Very good. Switch when you're ready. Inhale, lift. Ah, good. Exhale down. See if you can keep that tension through your legs. Shoot energy down your feet. Inhale, reach an arm. Full breath and hold. Exhale it down. Very good. Switch when you're ready. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Now you can continue doing single arms. If you feel like you're strong enough to do both today, you may even jet up against the wall. So if you need some wall support, you can be against the wall here. And then utilize both arms. Inhale them up. Can you hold your breath in? And then let it go. That's it. Perfect. Try four more. Take your time. Inhale, lift. Hold, and then let it out. Very good. Keep tearing apart the floor with your feet. Reach your arms up. So strong body from head to toe. Inhale, big reach. And then exhale, let it go. 
Very good. That's it. Inhale, rise. Hold your breath. And then let it go. That's it. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose or your mouth. Inhale. Big reach. Exhale, let it go. Very good. Now on your next one, take your arms in front of you. Can you interlace your fingers? Inhale the hands towards your heart. Exhale your palms away from you. Good. I'm going to change my angle so you can kind of see what we're doing here. As you inhale, stretch your arms up in your pain-free range. So if you have some limitation in your shoulders, don't force it. And then exhale it back down. Very good. Try again. Interlock. Inhale. Press up. Push into your palms, press your legs into the floor, and then exhale, relax. Good. Again, inhale, press out. Fill your body with air and hold it. And then exhale, let it go. Very good. One more in this set. Inhale, take your time. Press into your feet, reach your arms up. And then exhale, let it go. Wonderful. Then unhook your arms. Move your wrists a little bit. Yeah, move them the other way. They get some motion in them. You might hear clicks and pops as you warm up your joints. Okay, good. And then relax your arms, shrug your shoulders up, back and down. Try the circle pattern. Up, back and down. That's it. Inhale up to the ears, back and down. You may notice that I'm going to be shifting quite a bit, just so you can see the different angles of movement depending on the screen you have. Up, inhale, back, and then exhale down. Good. That's it. Perfect. That's it. Up, back, and down. Good. If you're just coming on the call, join us when you're ready. We're moving around our shoulders. Okay, so now from the shoulder movement, we're going to create a circle with this joint. So again, if you need some support, your hand can be rested. I want you to take one arm, inhale it up, press all five fingers together, squeeze it, lift, turn your hand, circle it back behind you. Yes, inhale up. As much air as you can, hold, circle, exhale, relax it down. That's it. Try three more. Up. Turn, exhale down, good, inhale up, good, turn, exhale down, perfect, lift, turn, exhale down, that's it, big sweep with that arm, try last one, and down, very good, what about the other side, does it have some motion, if you need to, just park yourself on the other side of your chair, inhale up, Turn, exhale, circle down. Four more. The inhale lifts, pause, turn, exhale down. So we're going to be practicing this hold after inhale. Good. Turn, sweep it around. Inhale, lift. Turn, exhale down. That's it. Breath guides you in. Take your time. It's okay if it's not at my speed. I want you to feel it out. Go up. Take your time. You're learning how to move your body and your breath together. Last one. Good. And then give that arm a shake off. That's it. Very good work. Okay. So now movement in your spinal column. All right. We're going to start to move the body forward and back. Okay, so if you get tired, you can do this in your seat. Otherwise, we're going to do it standing. So if your hands, one or both, can come to your heart, you can place them together or you can keep one hand down. We'll do three on each side for those that are using the chair for some stability. As you're inhaling, can you pull your arm back and allow your chest to move forward? If I was having both arms, it would look like this. And then as you exhale, can you round your back muscles, curl it, and push into your palms tightly. You want to seal them up. Good. 
Again, inhale, open. So if you're single arm, it'll look like this. If you're double arm, you'll look like this. And then as you exhale, reach one arm forward or both pushing them in. That's it. So go to your ability. Inhale to open. And then exhale to round. Push and round. Seal those arms up. Imagine your back was a cave. And then try your other side. So if you're using support, switch your arm. Inhale, pull the arm back. Good. And then exhale, round. Good. Again, I'm showing the single arm version for those that are using a little bit of support. So take your time. You can do both push into your palms. The most important part is this inhale. Can you pull back and give a squeeze between your shoulders? Create space in your chest. And then as you exhale, curl and round your back. Very nice. Try one more time. Full breath in. Give yourself that pull and that stretch. And then on your exhale, curl, press into palms and round. Very good. Then relax your arms as you inhale. Can you reach up one or both arms? It's okay if you have one hand for support. And then exhale, bring it down. Very good. Okay, so we have a little bit of warming happening in the front of the body. Keep your hands either beside you or resting to the back of your chair. We're going to start lifting and lowering the heels. Now, if you don't have a chair handy, you can utilize a wall. Okay, so either one is going to work right now. As you inhale, can you lift your heels up, squeeze the muscles above your knees, tighten your legs fully, and then exhale them back down. Very good. Again, inhale, lift, so you can use your support, or you can use the wall, and then exhale down, or you're using hands free. If you're hands free, you want to try bringing your arms up. Inhale, one or both arms up towards the ceiling. And then exhale that arm back down. Good. And then if you're swapping, you can switch. Inhale, lift. Hold your breath. Shoot energy down through your feet. And then exhale, bring it down. So you want to keep finding that push against the earth underneath you. Inhale, push the earth away. Reach up. Tighten up all the muscles you can. Good. And then exhale, bring it down. Switch when you're ready. Inhale, rise. And then exhale down. Okay, now on this last one, if you think you can hold it, I want you to hold it. So inhale, push against the floor, squeeze above your knees, tighten up your glutes and hold. Feel that lift in your body. If you think that you can go hands-free, you can try one arm to your side. Okay, so from the front, it'll look like this. Or, and you can start to play with your balance. You can try hovering. You can try lifting both arms. That's it. So take your time. Any step of the way, pause where you need to, and then lower your heels and your arms and give your legs a little stomp off. Haha, -ha, very good. Okay. Now we're going to play with warming in the hips a little bit. Some of you I know don't have um, a mat, so we're going to try to adapt this so that we don't need to go on the floor too, too much. Okay. So what I want you to do is, um, if you have the chair that you're utilizing, you can use that. We'll stay here, okay? And we're gonna start working with a little bit of lunging, okay? So if you're standing and you have access to the floor, I'll give two variations. So first variation, we'll do it without the chair. As you inhale, bring your arms up, give yourself a reach. On your exhale, take your hands down. Good, and then step your left leg back and drop your knee. So you can be down here. If your knee is sore on the ground, you can use a little padding underneath it. Now you can also use your chair where your hands are. So if going down feels a little bit squished to you, it's hard to breathe, come up here. Yeah, that's perfect, okay? So for those that are down, you'll be here. Those that are up, you'll be here. Now as you inhale, Sink into your lunge, reach your arms up. See if you can push your foot into the floor and stretch. Good, and then as you exhale, good. Shift your weight back, flex your toes, and either balance with your hands to your seat or to your side. Yeah, inhale, come forward. 
Take a full breath in and then hold your breath right at the end of your range. And then on the exhale, push, flex your foot, either use your support for balance or your hands to the earth, depending if the hamstring has the mobility. Okay, inhale forward. That's it. Hold your breath for a few seconds and then exhale, shift it out. Two more. Inhale forward, so you might be here with hands down, you might be here with arms up. Take your time to modify for your body today. I'm gonna keep showing both. You got it, inhale up. How much air can you bring in? Good, and then exhale, shift, fold. Good. And then inhale, come forward to your lunge. So you're either up on the chair or down. Curl your back toes. Lift your back leg. How strong can you make this back thigh? Good. Okay, now if you have the strong back leg, I want you to try. Can you inhale, lift one or both arms up? So you've noticed I'm still touching. Good. And then exhale, tap it down. This leg is going to be on fire soon. Inhale, lift. So again, we're practicing a higher lunge. If you need to, if you feel wobbly still, go wider with your feet. Inhale up. So I can do both hands. Maybe you're just on one hand today. And then exhale it down. Good. Try two more. Lift on your breath in. How much air can you take in? Can you hold it? And then exhale, tap it down. Good. Again, inhale to rise. Fill your body with air. Good. Exhale, let it go. Okay. Then take your back leg, step it forward. You're going to fold in half a little bit. So you might be down here if you're not using a support. You might be up here if you're using a support. Inhale, lift halfway. And then exhale, let it go. Good. Now inhale, reach your arms up to the ceiling. Push your feet against the ground. Give yourself this big lift. Good. And then exhale, relax it. Okay. Good. All right. One side done. Let's try the left and see how it behaves. So any stage that you need to change it and modify it, feel free to. This is your time to explore your movement. So again, we're going to come down. I'll show the chair and the floor version. Inhale, arms up. And then exhale, we fold. So you can fold and pause halfway, hands to seat. Take your leg back, drop your knee, or hands to floor, take your leg back, drop your knee. And then adjust your front foot. Make sure that you have a gap between your front and your back foot. So if your foot is too close to the other one, you're gonna be wobbly. So widen out your base so you feel solid on the floor. Okay, good. All right. So now once you have that, we're going to go forward and back. As you inhale, reach up one or both arms. See if you have balance in a lower lunge. Okay. And then exhale, flex your front toes, shift your hips back, either rest on the chair or hands beside you. And we're going to repeat that four more times. Go in, inhale, take as much air as you can into your body, hold it. And then exhale, shift and pull back. Good. Again, inhale forward. Good. And then exhale, shift out. Very good. That's it. Take your time. Land the foot. Push into your floor. As you inhale, try to maximize your breath in. And then exhale, try to push against the ground and flare up this foot. Good. Again, inhale forward, reach. Good. Very nice, everyone. Exhale back and then flex up your toes. Good. Forward. So you're, you're playing with your body's ability to move through space a little differently. Each time, we're adding another degree of complexity. So feel it out, break whenever, and honor wherever you're starting. And then shift the weight forward. Your hands can be on your support or on the floor. 
curl your rear toes. Now fire up your back leg. This is where we start to play with some balance. So I'm gonna use the modification with the hands on the chair. You can use the hands to floor depending where you are. Now, if you start to feel balanced, try lifting one arm up. Take a breath in and lift, and then exhale, bring it down. And then you can feel free to do one or both hands. So you let yourself explore. Inhale, up. Good, and then exhale back down. Very nice. Go up on your breath in. That's it. Feel the strength in your balance and then bring it down. You might even be holding the chair the whole time. It doesn't matter. You're working on stabilizing and getting strength in these legs. Very nice. Up. And then down. Remember to hold your breath a few seconds after you breathe in. Try again. Good. And then exhale down. Now, once you come down, hands to the floor or your seat, kick your back leg, step it in. All right. And then see if you can make your spine long. So we call this a flat back in yoga. But really what we're trying to do is find a long line from the lower part of your spine to the crown of your head. So we're extending the body. So I push and lift my chest and then I soften my knees and I bend. So let's try that two more times. Lift and extend your body. Can you push against your legs and then stick your heart out? Good, and then exhale to softly bend and relax. You got it again, inhale. Good, and then exhale. And then inhale, rise up and reach up. Good, and then exhale the arms down. Perfect. Okay. And then give it a little shake off. Very nice. Okay. I'm going to some recording going back on. All right. So if you have balance issues, you're going to pop your chair so that it's behind you. Okay. So that if you sit back too far, the first thing that happens is that you fall in your chair. Okay. All right. And all my young kitties. You're going to go down without that support, all right? You're going to go up and down from the floor. So now your feet, can you make them? Good. <laughs> Good job, Sabrina. Um, can you make your feet go about shoulder width apart? So notice how we were a little bit more narrow. Now we're widening out. Heels are slightly in. Toes are pointed like a V. Okay? That's it. Perfect. And then I want you to stretch your arms in front of you really strong. That's it. Like you're shooting energy out your fingers. Press all five fingers together. Okay. Now tear apart the floor with those feet. I want you to feel that you have strength in your hips, in your glutes, in your core muscles, and then arms. Yeah. As you inhale, can you shift your hips back? If you're using a chair, try to tap it. Good. And then as you exhale, drive up and press your hips forward. Pull your arms back. Good. Inhale, shift. If you're using the chair, tap it. Good. And then exhale, drive and press. That's it. Inhale, down. Use the floor. Push off of it. Pull back. I did tell you when we started, your legs will burn tomorrow. Inhale, down. That's it. And then exhale, drive up. Inhale, stretch, exhale, push. That's it, squeezing your hips and glutes right on the top. Inhale, down, exhale up. That's it, in through your nose, now breathe out through your mouth. We're conditioning your body. Inhale, strong, shoot out for your fingers, sit the bum back, exhale, rise. If you're part of my young folks, Sit all the way down. See if you have the motion in your hips to go down to a flat foot squat. Exhale, drive off the floor, push. Try three more, either halfway, tapping bum to seat, or full way, bum to heels. That's it. One more. Good. Give the arms a break. Give the heart a break and breathe. 
Couple long breaths out. You can kind of shake, you can move. Good job. If you're not used to doing squats, um, these get very tiring. <laughs> so just keep in mind, this is gonna uh, be able to condition your body over time. Something you should be doing every day, at least once or twice a day, squatting, going up and down from the floor, okay? So now try second set. Your body's way more warmed up. You're used to being here. Try 10 repetitions of your version. So your version might be to the chair. Your version might be halfway or full. And you can also just modify. If you get tired, stay higher up. Okay, let's go. Arms out. All five fingers press. Pack your shoulders. Drive your hips forward. Imagine you're tearing apart the floor as you inhale. Shift. Good. Push on the floor. Exhale up. Nine more. Inhale. Smile. Reach. Exhale up. Inhale. Exhale. Seven. Good. Inhale. Shift the hips back. Arms forward. Six. Five. Stay halfway if you need to. Four. Yes. Three. Almost there. Two, one, good. And then give the body a good shake. Good, how'd it go? Give me a thumbs up. Yay, got claps, I got thumbs up. Asun, you still alive? Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, okay, perfect, okay. So now again, if you have some issues with balance, your chair will go in front. This is one of my favorite exercises. This is called a tactical lunge. Okay, so the first round, we're going to do two rounds just like we did with our squats. The first round, we're going to stay in place. The second round, we're going to offer an advancement for those of you that feel strong today. Okay, so hands can be to the chair. If you're using the chair as a setup, take your left leg, step it back, okay? And you're going to stay on the ball of this back foot. Yeah, very good. So now this is your support. If you're not using support, your hands are going to come into your side ribs and hug your body in, okay? So this is no support lunge. This is supported lunge. Okay, now inhale here. On the exhale, press your back knee so it hovers over the floor and squeeze. Squeeze your glutes, push against the floor, inhale, lift. Exhale down. Inhale up, so again, hands free. Exhale down. Lift, inhale, hold, exhale, down. Good, five. Six, seven, use the support where you need it. Eight, inhale to come up, exhale to lower, press your knee down, create that dynamic tension in your body. I think we're on three. I hope we're on three. Two, one, down. Take your break, step it in, shake it off. Okay, heart rate's intended to go up, so if that's happening, just long exhale when you're in your rest time. You can shake, you can move, bring freedom to your body. And then we'll transition to the left side leg. So keep in mind, left and right side might be a little bit different. You could take a wider step if that helps you with balance. So face forward, take a step back. If you're coming in from the floor, you can step in from a lunge. If you're coming in from up high, step back and then lift this back thigh up. So from the front, looks like this. Okay, hands free, elbows are tucked into your rib cage, shoulders off your ears. You have these little robot hands. So you're squeezing as if your lat muscles were pulling your arms into your ribs, okay? So it's tense or you're holding, okay? Inhale here. Exhale, press this back knee so it hovers over the ground. Inhale, drive off the back foot. 
Yes. Nine. Inhale. Exhale. Eight. Inhale to lot rise. Seven. Good. Six. Five. Good. Four. Keep the strength. Eyes focus one spot. Three. Down and up. Create the tension. Squeeze your glute muscles. Squeeze at the bottom. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the bottom. Exhale. Inhale at the top. One more. You got this. Down and up. Step it in. Shake it off. Aha. Uh -huh. Record and we'll get going. So round two, same thing. Your body's already been here. Let's bring it back into that state of flow. So left leg back, right leg forward. If you're coming from a lower lunge for space, you can come up here or you can use the chair. Hands free, the elbows are tucked in. Yeah, good. Or you're supported, ready? Take a breath in, exhale, go down. Draw the belly in, press your knee down, root into that foot, inhale, pop up. Good, nine, down, inhale up, eight, out through the mouth, seven, inhale, lift, five, and up, good, four, three, two, that's it. Keep your form one more time, arms hugged in, knee towards the ground, tighten the legs, shift, step it out. Give a little shake off, give a little breather between sides. Legs will be on fire, keep it going. When you're ready, switch your legs out. Left leg forward, right leg back. So again, from your lunge, okay, or from the chair position. Decide how wide you need to be for your support. Decide if you're going hands-free or maybe half a hand. You can do one or the other two. Inhale here. On the exhale, bring it down, draw the belly in, squeeze your glutes in your legs, push off the floor, lift. Yes, two, good, three, exhale. Inhale to lift, strong back leg. Good, six, five, go down, push into your feet, lift and squeeze at the top, four, Good, three, inhale, exhale, two, one, step it in, shake them off. And you did it, good job. Two rounds of squats, two rounds of lunges, you're gonna be great. Okay, now we're gonna get into more of our yoga-based motion. So chair can still be utilized, also a wall can be utilized, okay? So now the focus is to inhale and hold your breath in, okay? For this, I'm going to flip this guy this way. Keep your both feet facing forward and then take a step back now with your left leg, but bring your heel down. So from where you are, you can go wide with this front leg. We want the back heel now to be pressed against the ground. So instead of holding balance, we're now rooting the feet. This is what we call a warrior one position. So your warrior might have to be wider. You might feel better with a chair on your side. So make your adjustments in space that you feel solid holding this front knee in the bend. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over to the other side. These chairs are amazing, versatile. Okay, so once you have that, straighten your front leg. I want you to take two long breaths out. Inhale through your nose. Now you can exhale through your nose or your mouth. Okay, when you're ready to inhale, take one or both arms up and wide. So you're bending at your elbow, you're allowing across your chest to open, and then hold your breath. And then exhale straight and let it go. 
Very good. Five more. Inhale, bend. Keep your back leg strongly rooting. Open one or both arms. And then let it go. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Again, in. Hold and let it go. One more time. Hold and then let it go. Good. Now I want you to stay in the pose and just breathe. Inhale. Hold that warrior pose. This is a strong pose, inner and outer strength. Develop the stamina to stay. Now try to take as deep of breaths as you can. Two more full breaths, as big as breath you can take in. One more. Good. And then straighten the legs, step it in, shake it out. I'm sweating too, by the way. <laughs> you are not alone in the sweat. I got sweat. Luckily, there's no smell receptors coming through this thing. Okay, so now opposite leg okay so you have your left foot forward your right leg does your step back you can be wide here so if you feel wobbly make a wider base you can have a chair on either side of you or a wall you can utilize what you have to feel the strength in your legs okay i'm going to keep this guy next to me okay now first again inhale long hold and then exhale, we straighten, okay? So two hip bones facing the front of your space. Pull left hip back, right hip forward. When you're ready, inhale, bend. Go wide, one or both hands. Hold your breath. And then let it go. Good. Five more. You got this. Inhale. One or both hands, pull back. And then exhale. Very good. Inhale. Exhale. In. Hold. Exhale. That's it. Again, dynamic, and then we'll stay. Inhale. Feel the strength building in your body, even if it's making you realize that you're not as strong as you'd hope for. Just keep breathing and holding. Maximize this area expanding. Good. Four more breaths. Tighten up your legs. If you need to take a break, feel free and take one. This is very demanding in the body. So be proud if you're holding this long. Two more. Maximize inhale. Press into your feet. Last one. Keep it strong. Good, and then let it go. You hand to the chair if you need to. Step the leg in. Press it out. I'm coming in to check in on you again to start our recording again. And yeah, good job, Basun. It's okay if you're tired. We're going to take a break now. Now we get to cool down. So you can shift your chair off to the side of you. You can come and find a position. That's on the back of your body. Okay, so we're gonna come to lie down. Let me make sure I have this angled good enough. Yeah. All right. Okay, so the position I want you to adopt is the soles, your feet down to the ground. Your arms relax, and you're just gonna stay here and breathe for a moment. Your knees can come together or they can stay apart but I want you just to let the back of your body relax. If the heart rate is still elevated, you're gonna focus on a long breath out. Okay, and we'll try a few long breaths out together. We're gonna to make a sound as we exhale. Just sounds like a ah. Okay, a release sound through the back of your throat. Inhale through your nose. 
Exhale, let your jaw drop. Ah. Oh. That's it. Four more. In. And out. Ah. Oh. That's it. Give your body a sense to come down to the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Ah. Oh. Again. In. And out. Ah, wonderful. And then let yourself just breathe a few moments. Feeling all the work you did standing today. Okay, now I'm going to teach you a motion that's going to allow you to generate some more power from the lower half. We did this a lot when we were squatting. We're going to come into what we call a bridge. As you inhale, can you push into your feet? and lift your hips as high as they'll go. Hold your breath for a few seconds, and then exhale, try and lower down with control. Good, that's it. Again, inhale, push your feet down, squeeze the back body, give yourself a lift. And then exhale, lower down. Good. Three more like that. Do it at your own speed now. Feel. As you inhale, can you slow down your breath? How slow and deep can you breathe? Can you hold it in at the top? Squeeze the back of your body. And then exhale, bring it back. Two more like that. Feel free to move at your own pace. It's the same thing we've been doing. Inhale to press. And then exhale to lower. On the last one, if you feel like you have some strength left, hold it there. Okay? Inhale. Hold as you exhale. Good. Again, inhale. Strong breath. Try to make this part of your diaphragm, just above your navel lift. And then hold strong as you exhale. It's okay if the body moves and fidgets. If you need to, press your arms into the floor. Inhale. And then exhale here. If you've had to lower, don't worry about it. You can come back in or you can take a breather. Two more breaths if you can. In. And out. You got it. One more time. And then let it go. Yeah, very good. And then let your arms come out to your side. So just like airplane wings, if you can, let your knees fall to one side. Let your head go to the other. No more hard work. It's all downhill from here. Good. Inhale to lift your knees back up. If you can, on your exhale, let your knees fall to the left and your head look over to the right. Good. And now you can let yourself do this little sway. The inhale brings you up and the exhale lets you rotate. So knees over to the right, head to your left. Good. Inhale to center. Exhale to the other side. Very good. So you're letting now this passive stretch for your back muscles, for your legs, come up on your breath in, twist over. Now, as you're rotating to the right, is it possible for you, if you have space to kick your left foot towards your right finger? So now you're extending the back leg and then bring it back. Bend, inhale to come up. Exhale to rotate towards the left. Kick your right foot over to this left arm and then bend and come back. So you can stay with your knees just tilting or you can add the opposite hand to foot. So foot to your hand. Yeah, 
and really start to feel the back of your leg. If you've been doing a lot more sitting lately because of all the shutdowns, um, doing a more extension with the back of your knee is necessary to counter all the sitting you've been doing. Up, and then either half turn, or you can fully kick and stretch. Foot to fingers. Even if it doesn't get to your fingers, inhale, come back and then exhale, rotate, kick. That's beautiful. And then inhale, come back. On the exhale, bring your knees towards your chest, rest your hands on your legs. Yeah, that's it. Now your back is gonna relax a little bit. As you inhale, try your extension. Can you kick your legs up? Stretch your arms over your head, pull back on your toes. So if there's a lot of tension here, you might look like this, that's fine. Bend your knees and then exhale your knees back down. Good, five more, go up, pull back and then exhale, bring them in. Good, and you can go wider each round. I'll show from this level. Inhale, you can go up a little bit wider and pull back. And then on the exhale, bring it in. Good, you can explore if you have nice big space around you. See if the legs can even go wider and stretch. And then exhale them back in. Okay, last one, whether they're wide or narrow, I'm gonna leave it up to you. Inhale, stretch, pull back on your feet, try to, as if you were gonna kick the ceiling, and then exhale, bring it down. And then give a little rock, little rock and just breathe. Very good. And then set yourself up so that you feel, I'm just gonna change this track for us. Something more relaxing, there we go. Perfect. All right, so lie down on your back with the feet on the mat and your knees up. So this is gonna allow a little bit better breathing. Um, one second, to switch this track, come on. There we go. And we're gonna start to calm the body from all that work. All right, let's check our chat. We're still good. All right. So now you're here. If it's more comfortable to let your knees kind of cave and touch, let them cave and touch. You can relax your hands on your body. You can have them away from your body. I want you to get comfortable. If you have a cushion you want to put under your neck or your head, depending on what room you're in, feel free, cushion up your head. If you want to stretch your legs out a little bit, you can do that as well. So I'm just inviting you to find a position that your back and the whole body can feel restful. So if that takes another moment, feel free to take that moment. Okay. All right, all right, okay. And then make any little adjustments so that your neck and head are as comfortable as they can be. And I want you to start, we're gonna start with six breaths out through the mouth, making a soft sound of a ma sound. It's gonna relax your throat a little bit. So inhale, and then exhale with a soft sound. Ma. Inhale. Hold for a second or two, then exhale, relax your body, long exhale. Ma. Four like that, inhale. And then exhale with your sound. Doesn't need to be a great sound, just let it go through the back of your throat. Ma. Two more. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Ma. One more, slowest exhale you can. Ma. Ma. 
and then allow yourself just to keep your breath rhythm at your own speed. If you can, slow down your breath out. You're welcome to continue making that ma sound, letting your body sink into the ground. And start to give your body this chance to relax now. Can you allow all the parts of your body that have contact with the ground to start to sink into the floor as you breathe out. Feel along your back, let it drop down. Let all the weight come down. Feel your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists, let them drop. Starting to give permission for your arms to become heavier. And same with your legs. Can you relax your legs, the soles of your feet, and that whole lower half of your body? Bringing ease into your entire body just by letting your breath out slowly. And then relax the weight of your head. Relax the weight of your neck. And if it's available to you, relax the skin around your eyes. And the space around your jaw. Letting your whole body from your head down to your toes begin to relax. And any thoughts that come into your mind, just let them pass by. Watch them as if they were clouds moving through a sky. Just for a few minutes here. Letting all the background noises and sounds fall into the back of your mind. Your number one focus is just to allow rest and your body to integrate the last hour of movement. Breathing in and out at your own pace. Utilizing your exhale to relax your physical body.
very good. And then I want you just to stay relaxed, but place one hand over the center of your chest. And I want you to allow your eyes to stay relaxed. And I want you just to start to feel all the things you have in this very moment to be grateful for today. What are all the parts of your body that still worked and they worked well? Who are the people that are special to you that bring joy into your life? And just start to visualize or feel these people in your heart. Maybe it's a pet, it's a family member, a spouse, a child. Just remind yourself of all the things in this moment to be grateful for right now. And inhale that into the center of your chest. And then as you're exhaling, let that energy move down your arms and down your legs. And slowly let yourselves roll over to one side and use your arm as a pillow. So that you're cradling underneath your neck. You can even scoop your knees closer towards your midsection. And just take a couple of breaths resting on your side. And then slowly make your way up to what you feel is a comfortable seated position. So however you sit comfortably, that could be on a chair, that could be on the ground or on your mat, whatever that works. Good. And then inhale here, take your palms towards one another. And as you exhale, bow to your own practice. Thank yourselves for showing up today and for putting the effort into class. Always acknowledge your own participation. And thank you so much for being here with me. This is an absolute dream come true. And I hope is just the start of things that we're gonna be able to provide. <laughs>